I just wanted to revisit this uh, proposition that we looked at right at the very beginning of, of this section in the, in the first clip there. Um, and that is that uh, this idea that if you've got an invertible linear map, then the inverse is automatically linear as well. And I said that was a really cool thing, and I realized afterwards maybe it's not clear why it's such a cool thing until you see that it doesn't work in other parts of mathematics. So suppose um, you've got a function from x to y which is uh, continuous and invertible. Then um, it's not always the case that f inverse is continuous. And so this is the kind of thing that you'll come across in a, uh, an advanced calculus class or a topology class or something like that. So let's consider the case of if we map um, the interval from 0 to 2 pi into uh, the circle. And I'll denote it like this. This is sort of a standard notation for the circle. It actually means torus or one-dimensional torus, but that's just a circle. And so here we are. In the plane, there's our circle. And I will map it by uh, saying that f of x is um, cosine x sine x. OK, so that maps us into the plane. And you can check that that's going to take this uh, interval right here from 0 to 2 pi, and it will wrap it up and plot it so that it goes around like this and it gives you a circle and i don't know why i drew it so far over there let's bring it back um and so that's this circle right here uh it's not hard to convince yourself that this is uh, an invertible map I mean, it's, it's a, there's a bijective correspondence. If you pick any point over in the interval here, you can find out exactly where it goes to in the, um, uh, in the circle. And I've removed the end point from the interval here at 2 pi, so it's not included in the domain. So there's no overlap. That's the idea of what's going on here as well. Uh, but nonetheless, if you try and go backwards from the circle to the interval, uh, you can't do that in a continuous way. Um, and if you just try and flatten the circle into uh, an interval, you're going to end up with a closed interval and also a map that's not injective. So that would just be a mess as well.